Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to extend your displays if you're using multiple monitors within Windows 11. Now, there's two ways to go about doing this. One, you can click on the Windows icon and simply go to Settings and then on the left-hand side, you want to click on Systems and this will take you where you can find display. You'll simply have to click on that or just simply right click on your Windows screen and just simply click on display settings and it will take you right here. Now guys, you have to connect your monitor your screen. So if you have multiple monitors, you simply want to connect them either through HDMI or if you have a KVM switch and you want to simply connect your monitors, then you can just simply go ahead and connect those. Whichever way you're connecting them, just simply go about doing that. Or simply, if you have your laptop and you have a monitor and you just want to connect them by HDMI, you plug your HDMI cable into your laptop, brother, and this will have the monitor connected. So once you do that, guys, most likely by default, what's going to happen is that your computer and your monitor will be set to duplicate these screens. And also, you will be able to see that both the monitors are shown up. You will have a one and you will have a two. Now, in order to know which one is the one and which one is the two, you can simply click on identify and it will show the number like this. What actually happened now? Right now, you can see two on my display, but on my laptop, it is showing the number one. So that is identifying which monitor is number one and which monitor is number two. Also, you can rotate them by simply move which monitor you want on each side. So you can simply drag it and it will move to the other side or you can simply go back and do the same and if you have multiple monitor all you have to do is just simply do the same by moving them around by simple click and drag and this will move them around now, once you do that you can click apply now guys in order to extend your display so that you don't have the same content or the same screen showing on each monitor all you have to do is just simple click on this drop down here and select the option that says extend display and this is best to do extend the display first and then move around your monitor in flow that you want when you're moving your cursor from one screen to the next, right? So as you can see, my number two is here, my number one is here, which is my laptop. And if I move the cursor all the way over to the right side, this will take me onto my number one screen, which is my laptop, right? So that's very good to know. Now, there are two more options. You have show only on one and show only on two. Now, if you select any one of these, what's going to happen is that it is going to select the one screen and leave one of them blank. So just a point to know if you would like to do that, you just have to select the option that you want and one of those screen will be blank and one will be work. Now, once you finish, select all that you need by extending your display and move them around to the other that you want. All you have to do is just simply click apply and this will apply all those settings to your computer. And of course, if you would like to change the resolution as well, you can simply go down to scale display resolution or even display oriented and you can basically modify these as you wish. It is best to select the recommended settings, but if you would like to make any personalized adjustment, you can go about doing that and simply click on OK. And that will be all guys. Now guys, I really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful. And if you do, go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below. I'd really appreciate that. And if you've seen the channel for the first time, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I'm Anjo and I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community. And also so that you'll never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much and see you next time.